welcome to the thrift shop. Today we're going to talk about the Project Debut Carbon Evo. So the project debut carbon Evo, Evo from here on out, is a upgraded version of the debut carbon turntable made by Project. Um, the, the debut carbon is well received and they did some upgrades, some motor suspension upgrades, um, some platter upgrades, and uh, you know a little bit here, a little bit there as they do with turntables and they charge you more money. I believe the original carbon uh, retail for uh, maybe it's around 500 the Evo retails for 599 so I already have my Denon VL12 turntable as my reference I was hoping to get more of a audiophile quality type of uh, turntable to provide uh, more feedback for those who are using those type of uh, turntables so um, I found one on Amazon Warehouse, um, it was a pretty good deal, so I ordered it and it arrived. This is where the story gets interesting. So I have a public service announcement for you. Amazon is scamming people. So I ordered the Project Debut Carbon Evo, but what was in the box? It was a Project Debut Carbon. Same color as listed on Amazon. Um, in review, the, the lid looked like it had been used five or six years, yeah, given the amount of scratches that are on it. The base was scratched up or the plinth was all scratched up. The RCA terminals were tarnished and it was missing one cap to one foot underneath. So, why am I doing a review? Because I thought, heck, it got delivered here. I'm returning it. Might as well uh, give a old used uh, turntable uh, uh, review. So um, not going to be a glaring review. Let's just put it that way. Uh, not happy with Amazon. If you're the one take buying turntables off of Amazon and putting your old used one back in there and returning it to get a refund, stop it. It's illegal. Don't do it. So how does the debut carbon sound? Um, I don't think you can really make a claim of how a turntable sounds without uh, knowing the system. Everyone's system is going to be different. So whatever cartridge you have is going to sound different. Your, your phono preamp is going to sound different. Your amplifier speakers, etc. So it's hard to dial in and say how this sounds. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to give you my feedback. So the debut carbon comes with a uh, Ortifon 2M Red. Um, on it, the uh, Evo comes with the Samiko Rainier, which I was actually excited to try. It's part of my cartridge review, so a little bit bummed there. But um, so I played the turntable. Um, I do have an upgraded acrylic platter for it that I did use, so I wasn't using the base steel. So I'm playing it with the Ortofon 2M Red. I was not impressed. Sound very collapsed in, like the sound couldn't get out of a box. Um, uh, it was a little bit harsh. Really didn't care for the sound of the, the 2M red on this turntable. So I did put the Riga Enya moving coil cartridge on it. I thought, heck, let's take this cheap turntable and put something that's worth twice as much on it. See how it sounds. Um, I was amazed at the tone arm. The carbon fiber tone arm on the project is probably the best tone arm I've heard. Even though it has plastic mounts, it feels cheap. Um, you know, normally I do tapping on the tone arm to see how much microphonics are coming through to the cartridge, and I didn't get any. Um, it's probably the best um, damping or absorption of sound through the tone arm that I've heard. So, pretty amazing from that standpoint. Um, although 
I couldn't get the Riga Anya heavy enough on this arm. That, um, so there's not enough forward weight to actually get up to the desired loading on the cartridge. So uh, you'll see in the video or the pictures some unique ways that, that I did there to drive the weight. So um, the arm itself I don't think is going to work with a whole variety of cartridges. So you're probably going to need a heavy cartridge on this tone arm. The again, I didn't use the steel platter that comes with it, so I used a um, curly platter, which would be an upgrade to uh, to the turntable. Uh, I did find the plinth to be extremely microphonic, so you can tap on it and it's going through. I can see my speakers moving in and out, so uh, the plinth isn't really doing much for absorption. I do know the Evo has better feet to try to absorb some of the sounds, so. In playing, what I found is that the, the you couldn't get clarity through the turntable because the vibrations from your speakers get introduced through the plinth back up through the whole system. The tone arm can't take that away, so it's already coming through the platter and onto your records moving. So the bass hit hits your speaker, and then it, that's transferring over to your turntable. So Things, the sounds are extended, and therefore you can't get the exact pinpoint clarity in the sound. Given this fact, I would not order the Project Debut Carbon Evo, even though it has upgrades. I just think fundamentally this design, um, it's not for me. So if your experience is that you're going to listen at low levels, your speakers aren't going to push music back through your turntable and muddy up the sound, then you're fine. But in general... Um, I'm going to go a different direction. I have to assume that the Riga, you know, P1, P2, P3 are all in the same boat too. Um, they're all very similar in design. So um, I'm not sure what I'm going to do next, but uh, definitely not happy with the project debut carbon, not Evo. Hey, if you like this, please uh, like, subscribe, comment. Uh, I'll reply to all your comments. Upcoming, I will be doing uh, 11 Pono cartridges, including a shootout. So uh, look forward to that. Stay in touch, and we'll see you soon. Bye.